Just when you think space couldn't get any more weird, uh, weirder? Hey, check my grammar. The universe throws a curveball in the form of a giant glowing bubble that's too perfect to be real. Astronomers have spotted something strange drifting through our galaxy. And it's not a rogue planet, which is a space body the size of a planet that doesn't orbit any star. It's not a star itself, either. It's not even your average supernova remnant. It's a perfectly round sphere, and scientists are stumped. Astronomers were going through data from a super-powerful radio telescope when they spotted something that looked like a perfect round bubble. At first, they thought it was the leftovers from a massive star explosion called a supernova. But the weird part was that the object was too perfect. Normally, such explosions leave behind messy, uneven clouds. And the newly discovered one looked like someone had drawn it with a compass. The scientists named the space bubble teleos, which means perfect in ancient Greek. They've already looked at all the possible explanations, but none of them really make sense yet. This strange space body was discovered thanks to a telescope in Australia called ASCAP. It's been scanning the sky and finding all kinds of weird circular objects. This research was part of a project called the Evolutionary Map of the Universe. Some of the faraway circles, known as orcs, which is short for odd radio circles, have already puzzled scientists. But this one is different, because it's inside our own galaxy. At the same time, even though Teleos is technically closer to us, scientists can't quite figure out how close it is. And that's making it harder to understand where it came from or how it formed. The researchers have taken an even closer look at this strange space bubble and found something super odd. It only gives off a very faint glow and only in radio waves, not in visible light or x-rays. Based on that glow, they figured it's most likely the leftover shell of a massive star explosion called a type La supernova one of the brightest and most powerful kinds of explosions in the universe. This kind of explosion happens like this. A super-dense dead star, called a white dwarf, starts stealing material from a nearby star. It keeps sucking in stuff until it just can't handle the weight anymore, then it blows up in a huge burst of energy. Now that part makes sense. But figuring out how far away is this thing? Strangely, it's not so easy. Scientists have run the numbers and ended up with two possible distances for Teleos. Either it's around 7,175 light years away, or it's much farther, about 25,114 light years away. Eh, give or take. Depending on which distance is right, the size of the bubble could be vastly different. If it's closer, then it's about 46 light years wide. That would make it a pretty young supernova remnant, maybe less than a thousand years old. But if it's farther away, then it's a giant 157 light years across, which could be more than 10,000 years old. So, which one is it? That's where things get tricky. Scientists have models that tell us how these supernova leftovers should behave. And one of the most important things they expect to see is X-rays. But you might remember that Teleos doesn't show any, not a single X-ray in sight. That's the big mystery. How can something that should be glowing with x-rays be totally silent? It just doesn't add up and leaves the scientists very puzzled. Another idea the scientists are considering is that Teleos might not be a regular supernova remnant at all. Instead, it might be the leftovers from a rarer kind of explosion called a type Lax supernova. And this one? It's extra weird. In a normal type La supernova, the white dwarf star blows itself to bits. But in a type Lax supernova, it doesn't get totally destroyed. It kind of survives, turning into a zombie star. Ooh. It's damaged, but it's still around. This would actually explain a lot about how Teleos looks and glows. But in this case, it would have to be much closer to us, only about 3,262 light years away. That would also make it a lot smaller, about 11 light years wide. The coolest thing here is that there's actually a star at that distance that could be the zombie star that caused all this. But, and it's a big but, like I have, when scientists use other ways to try and measure how far away Teleos is, none of them agree that it could be this close. So, sadly, this theory hits a bit of a wall. 
then there's another strange thing. Teleos's nearly perfect spherical shape. That's not normal. Usually, supernova explosions are kind of messy and uneven. The blast might push into clouds of space dust or gas, or parts of the explosion might move faster than others. Eventually, the shell that forms gets all lumpy or starts to break apart. But in this case, the object is almost perfectly round, like a balloon, and that's super rare. The only way something could stay this neat and round is if it exploded in a very empty part of space and expanded smoothly in all directions. That's actually not impossible, just really, really rare. Now, considering its unique, probably unnatural shape, could Teleos be an artificial object? Could it be a Dyson sphere? That's a hypothetical megastructure that could completely surround a star and harvest all of its energy. At first, this idea was supposed to explain how we might detect intelligent extraterrestrial life by spotting the energy they use, rather than waiting for them to send us a message. You see, here on Earth, we only receive a tiny bit of the Sun's energy. Meanwhile, a whopping 386 billion billion megawatts are shooting out into space in all directions. Not to waste such a giant amount of energy. A civilization could build a Dyson Sphere, or more realistically, a Dyson Swarm, loads of solar panels orbiting the star. It would help them capture every bit of that power to run their planet, technology, AI systems, and maybe even space travel across galaxies. To understand just how advanced a Dyson Sphere-building species would have to be, scientists use the Kardashev scale. It ranks civilizations by how much energy they can use. Type 1 can use all the energy available on their home planet. Spoiler, we're not even there yet. Type 2 can harness all the energy from their star. That's the Dyson Sphere level. Type 3 can use energy from an entire galaxy. Think Dyson spheres around every star and even extracting energy from black holes. Right now, Earth's civilization ranks about type 0.7449, give or take. That means that we haven't even maxed out the energy available to us on Earth, including fossil fuels, renewables, and nuclear power. We're still taking baby steps on this cosmic scale. Anyway, the problem with the theory that our perfectly shaped object could be a Dyson sphere is that this example of super-advanced technology would give off heat. In other words, there would be thermal infrared radiation, and the object would be unusually bright in the infrared. This could be a sign that something artificial is absorbing the star's energy and re-emitting it as heat. But the scientists have found no heat signatures or anything like that when observing teleos. So, do we have the final answer? Mm -mm, not yet. The scientists have looked at all the existing clues – how bright the thing is, how big it looks, and how far it might be – and none of the possibilities are totally perfect. Each idea has a problem especially the fact that we're not observing any X-rays, which should be there according to the usual rules. They still think that regular type LA supernova idea is the best bet for now, but they're not 100% sure. There's just not enough proof to say for certain. So the mystery continues. The team says we'll need more powerful and detailed observations to really figure out what happened here. But in any case, if something like Teleos can exist, what else is out there waiting to challenge everything we know about the universe? That's it for today. So hey, if you pacified your curiosity, then give the video a like and share it with your friends. Or if you want more, just click on these videos and stay on the bright side.